Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. In this video, I would like to talk about the Bitcoin mining hash rate and the mining difficulty. So apparently, Bitcoin has just hit an all-time high. So that basically means that there are more Bitcoin miners coming onto the network, thus making it more difficult for people to get more of the uh, Bitcoin rewards, per se. So this is an article that I read on BitcoinS.com. So I, I'm not going to read through it. I basically, uh, I'm going to show you guys some, some true graphs from legitimate websites here. So first, one's for, first one uh, is BTC.com. So there is a, there's a difficulty um, hash rate uh, part right here. So the last time that Bitcoin hit like the highest point of, of mining was, um, was back in early October of 2018. Okay, so this also correlates to the hash rate uh, back in October 2018. It used to be, it, you can see it used to be pretty high um, in terms of uh, exahash, exahashes. So you can see the number here, it would be about 55 exahashes, I think, back then or something. Uh, I'm not sure if this accounts for all the all the network hash rate, but um, uh, yeah, 55-ish was the, I think, the highest point. And then now, looking at the difficulty chart, it has reached a new all-time high. So uh, you can see here the, the graph has, you know, it dropped down due to the price going going all the way down to 3000. So this 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 price correlates to when that crash happened. So all of the all of the bitcoin mining farms and whatnot started turning off all their machines and whatnot, you know, big big players in the space. Probably smaller players as well because, you know, it didn't make sense to mine bitcoin because uh, you weren't making any profit depending on your electricity bill. And then Slowly, the price started going up, miners started coming back in, and um, now the difficulty and the hash rate has been going steadily up, as you can see here on to the right, um, which correlates to, um, yeah, the price going down back in this January or so, and it has been going up ever since, uh, up until recently. You guys know what the price is. Um, so... With this, also, I kind of wanted to show that in terms of price, I don't know because of the, obviously the price is going up now past, um, since since 3,000, it's now at uh, 8,000, 9,000 uh, around there. Uh, let's just see, as I'm making this video, it did crash down like a, a bit, but uh, it's, 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 it's just a correction or something, I don't know. Um, it's now at 8,000 USD. But... One thing I wanted to point out was back in 2017, let's say around uh, like the start of the bull run, October, uh, September or October of 2017, you can see Bitcoin hash rate was about, okay, eight, starting at 8 exahash back in September, 8 exahash or uh, 8 million terahash. So uh, there's a, I have a nice little graph here. Or, a chart here just explaining what uh, you know a gigahash, terahash, petahash, exahash. Uh, you guys can see that here. I'll you guys can pause the video uh, for you for you new guys if you need to understand <laughs> how what, how to differentiate terahash, petahash, exahash. So now uh, in terms of price, I just want to explain. So now since um, People are, are uh, miners are coming into the space, right? So uh, during this time, people are buying their Bitcoin, Bitmain, Ant miners, whatever, uh, whatever machines that you use to mine Bitcoin, uh, SHA 256 algorithm, and uh, you can see the the price of Bitcoin also correlating to the hash rate that's also been steadily going up as well. Um, so look at this uh, part right here when Bitcoin was 20,000 when hit when Bitcoin hit 20,000 so around December 17th Look at the hash rate of, of Bitcoin. It was at around 17 exahash. Okay, so uh, 17 uh, 17 million terahash, okay After that Bitcoin 
started going down. It started going into a bear market, as as people would say, and um, all the way back down to around three thousand. Okay, but during that time, Bitcoin continually was uh, was rising up in hash rate. So people were investing in ant miners or ASIC miners uh, for the SHA two hundred fifty six algorithm for Bitcoin. Therefore, yeah, just a bunch of mining farms. People were were gathering uh, more more miners to get to gain more uh, Bitcoin, and it, it was it was it was pretty surprising to me that it was actually still going up higher. But um, now that there's more people on the network, uh, you can see how many miners are on the network. It's also uh, it's also more secure, right? So as you can see. I'm on miningpoolstats.com uh, dot stream uh, slash Bitcoin, and you can see all of the most of the Bitcoin uh, pools here, and the how much of the exahashes are distributed amongst the different pools and the network. So uh, the Bitcoin network is is actually really strong. It's 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 stronger than ever because as you can see, the network difficulty has hit a new high. And um, uh, uh, basically, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a new time for Bitcoin, and I, I can see it continually going higher because as the Bitcoin price will continue to go higher, uh, more and more people, more and more Bitcoin farms are going to be adding more of the uh, ASIC miners, such as the new uh, Bitmain S17, I believe, and uh, that's supposed to garner more Terra hashes and whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, just <laughs> it's just pretty interesting uh, to see uh, the correlation to that, as well as um, the dip of price. I guess it kind of plateaued uh, when the Bitcoin price and it didn't make sense to mine Bitcoin anymore because uh, the price crashed down to three thousand. So it kind of plateaued in terms of hash rate per how much um, uh, the price of Bitcoin was to how much Bitcoin rewards you can get in terms of how much hash rate you had uh, because there's a lot of miners per se a lot of um, XA hash or Terra hashes up out in the network right now depending on how many ASIC uh, miners are out there I hope that makes sense <laughs> I kind of uh, rambled on a bit but uh, yeah so uh, continuing um, the mining pool stats dot stream guys I, I, I really like, I use this website to gauge a lot of the GPU mining coins. Um, I, I don't really follow the Bitcoin hash rate that much, uh, but I have shown this, graphs, this graph in the past, just showing the rise in the Bitcoin hash rate. But um, l let's talk, um, let's just talk about maybe a few coins here. Um, Ethereum, for example. So it's it hasn't followed in the footsteps of what Bitcoin has in terms of you know uh, Ethereum or uh, the hash rate hitting a new all-time high, the next all-time high. So, but there there's some reasons for that because with Ethereum there there have been um, halvings like not halvings but uh, hard forks in which the rewards have been uh, cut from like three to two. So Ethereum, you, you have been, Ethereum have been getting less rewards, um, but as you can see, the, in terms of the Ethereum hash rate, so at the highest point, August 6th, 2018, the Ethereum network was at about 293 giga hash, was like at the highest point uh, at one point back in uh, August of 2018, and then it just went all the way down all the way down to I would say the lowest point is whenever uh, Bitcoin went to 3,000 3,500 around there and Ethereum went down to like below $100 USD like that was a crazy time so uh, yeah it just wasn't profitable for a lot of people so a lot of hash rate was uh, was cut down and a lot of I would say mining farms and small small household farmers uh gpu farmers or gpu miners um turned off their their rigs because it just wasn't profitable anymore um but now you can see that the ethereum network hash rate has been going up steadily not 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 that not that high but steadily um uh, not to a new all-time high as bitcoin but uh it is going up and then 
Um, another coin I would like to look at is Ravencoin. So totally different story from Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, with Ravencoin, Ravencoin came out, I would say, a year and a bit ago. And obviously the network hash rate has gone up and gone up substantially. I don't know if that's due to FPGAs, some private FPGA farms. Everyone's been saying, no, there's no FPGAs on the network. Or some people have said there is. Some, some say the network is 50% FPGAs. I don't know what to believe, but I, I know that there must be some kind of FPGAs happening right now somewhere in China. Uh, but uh, I'll get to that in another video. But with Ravencoin, um, Ravencoin has gone up substantially in price. And... Um, it, that correlates, I guess, to the to the hash rate that that's been going up because a lot of people are invested uh, into into Ravencoin. So, uh, and I don't know if that's just um, uh, some private people in the space or people that owned a lot of Bitcoin are going into Ravencoin and whatnot. Um, but as you can see on a 1660 Ti build, for example, six cards, Ravencoins, the top number one profitable coin at the moment as of making this video. Um, six, seven, seven, ten, seventy TIs, for example, the most profitable coin, Raven coin, as of making this video. Um, six RX 570s. Let's just see. It's probably going to be Ethereum Classic and Ethereum, as you can see. So, for Nvidia cards right now, Raven coin is top dog. Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, the price has been pumping. It's been it's been doing it's been doing the best uh, in terms of the all-time uh, since down from all-time high and uh, in terms of uh, year to date in terms of um, uh, let's see here in terms of uh, like ROI or whatever you can see the Raven coins number two so if you held Raven Raven coin or mined Raven coin since the beginning um, you're doing better than Binance coin. You're doing better than Bitcoin. You're doing better than a lot of coins. Um, yeah, it's just uh, and it, fr down from all time high in in terms of price. Yeah, Raven coin is has been top performing um, coin since the beginning. If you were mining Raven coin throughout the whole year since the very beginning, uh, you're you're doing really well. You're doing better than Ethereum. You're doing better than Grin. You're doing better than Bitcoin. Uh, so yeah, that's that's just uh, what I wanted to talk about, guys. Um, basically, yeah, it's it's cool to see that Bitcoin is going to a new hash rate, and uh, up, up, I mean, a new difficulty, <laughs> and a lot of people are now are, are buying. I guess they're just they're still making more Bitcoin farms around the world, and um, or people are, are investing into Bitcoin miners. And um, does this correlate to the price going up eventually? Uh, more more private people are getting into the space investment people I don't know um, but if if big players in the space are investing in this I I don't see I don't see an issue with us small miners uh, just regular people just getting into uh, mining you know uh, other coins that are out there right and um, when Bitcoin goes up it generally also moves up the other coins as well so um, you guys know I'm a GPU miner at heart, so I've been, uh, I've been, I've been mining, um, uh, GPU mineable coins, okay? So, uh, and, um, I, I, I don't really do a lot of trading myself, so I have a general amount of, of coins, uh, held up in my ledger wallet and other stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all I want to talk about guys. I, ram I rambled off in a lot of different areas, but uh, I hope uh, I, I, you guys learned something and hopefully gives you guys perspective of what I've, of what I've talked about. Um, it, it's really good to have this kind of knowledge just to understand the whole outlook of the ecosystem, the whole outlook of how um, there's big players in the space, you know, investing millions of dollars in Bitcoin machines. And uh, as well as uh, GPU mining as well. I, I'm sure there's, there's, there's entities out there that are investing uh, big time into mining as well. And you guys know I love mining, so I, <laughs> I have a bias towards that. So, uh, But anyways, guys, rambling on too much, videos too long. I appreciate all of you who watch me day in and day out. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what you think down below, guys. Uh, let me know if I got some information wrong. 
Um, but otherwise, if you learned something, let me know. Let me know down below. I appreciate all of you. Please, please comment something down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.